Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Let's start it. So I am talking to you about this uh, loan customization for parliaments. Okay. Well, I am a software developer since uh, 1991. I have a master degree in software engineering. Uh, I am a developer at Câmara Municipal de Curitiba. It's the town council. Uh, I founded the Python Paraná local user group. I founded the Coding Dojo, uh, also local user group. Um, I organized the Python Brazil number six in 2010. I organized this year uh, the SciPy Latin America uh, on Curitiba also. And I am a member of Python Brazil Association. Just a little off topic here. Uh, my name is, was, I, I was named uh, after a warrior uh, from a book my, my father was reading. And I discovered that it was a samurai. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, spoiler alert, I will cry, I'm sure. And about the talk. I will talk about this customization, but uh, I will show how I, I contribute to the, the portal, uh, integrating data visualization from the EEA, uh, using the Porto Modelo and Ombudsman Office System. I work, at, I work in town council, but I was design, designated to work at the Ombudsman Office of Curitiba. So that's why I use it, this system and have to customize it uh, for my day-by-day -day use, okay? This is the town council. Uh, it's uh, the front of the town council or the city uh, councillors uh, discuss laws and stuff like that. Well, the Portal Modelo was uh, developed by Interleges. Interleges, uh, you know, was the host of the Plan Conf conference in Brazil. Uh, and the sprints part of the conference. Um, they are run by the Brazilian uh, Legislative Institute. The, the name in Portuguese is Instituto Brasileiro de... Instituto Legislativo Brasileiro. And they give free training uh, and free software also. Portal Modelo is free software. And they also give infrastructure for the, the town councils around the country. And this, these are these pages, and they have an organization on GitHub. The Portal Modelo is made for city halls. Uh, it's a free software, and they host around 1,773 uh, portals, portals on interledges, okay? They also give free training, so they, they support with knowledge also, and it's following the Brazilian rule of transparent, law of transparency for the government, so it's give information what, from what is happening and what, uh, where the money is being spent on the town council and the cities. I, I work mostly with this system, the Ombudsman of Adon. Uh, it's uh, made for the, the citizens to complain about things like, oh, my, my street has a road that um, fits a car inside, and uh, I already asked for the mayor to fix it, but it's, it's still not fixed, so please uh, do something for me. And they accept several types of claims by the folk, okay? 
Uh, I used the data visualization of the European Environment Agency. It's a semantic web data visualization tool for Zopen Plone. Uh, it's still supporting only Plone 4. Uh, they generate attractive and interactive charts. There are two visualizations supported, uh, Smile, Smile Exhibit and Google Charts. And the architecture allows for new plugins, data visualization plugins. There's also a variation of the portal model that is called Portal Padrão, that's for the executive power Brazil, okay, used by Brazilian government uh, plan sites. But now, we, uh, also, you, you want to, to take a picture? It was, I can wait a little. Be quick. And let, let's do some, uh, demonstration here, so let's see. Well, Porto Modelo is uh, made uh, major, uh, uh, a bunch of uh, other add-ons, like uh, intranet modelo and policies, API, searchers, buscadores is searchers, the ombudsman uh, add-on that I will show you, uh, and some more stuffs okay now I give you another spoiler it was not supposed to be here now <laughs> let's see uh, plan conf so I have here they have a Docker image to those that who want to use it. But this Docker image is not working like the, the Ombudsman Office is not working in this image. So I will use a checkout I did on GitHub. Let me see, just to show you. Uh, here. Yeah. So th this Docker image is running on uh, part 800 and 1200, but I use another one. So work on. A little bit nervous, and uh, I didn't sleep well also. Try again. Come on. Oh, let me show you the. This is the, our website, and the town council of Curitiba. It is still using PHP. Uh, we uh, intend to move to Plone as soon as possible. Okay, just starting. So when it's open, the, the web page, and 
I am using the default template, but they have a, a lot of te teams. Our, every team is based on something that is called IDG, uh, ident uh, Government Digital Identity, Identidade Digital do Governo. Uh, it was made by a lot of friends, and I don't know, simply worked on the IDG also. Yeah, yeah. It was a project of Simplis when where it was there. Oh, it's localhost. Why you don't open? Okay, it's open. So this is the the interface, the first interface. I am logged in, so it's showing the the actions here. So this is the, the default installation, just out of the box. And it comes of a lot of things here. Um, the the thing I, I told you about transparency, it's this. Oh, you are not seen. So there is this uh, navigator. So the finances, the contracts, the human resource data. And everything out, out of the box, there is access to information, open data, everything out of the box. Some town councils uh, have received like uh, a mention, an honorable mention, because they are very transparent and very uh, open data driven. But I will talk about the ombudsman. It's in Portuguese. I'm sorry, but I, I don't think there is a translation, full translation ready. This is the the list of the complaints the I as a citizen did. Then there is an workflow. The where when someone complains about something, it's pending. And after some movement, some response, it goes to, it can go like to accepted or moving. And then if the complaint's not uh, like, it's not maybe like, oh, it, this is not our problem, it's not a city problem, it's a state problem, so we will re reject. Or we can go to, Concluded, or I believe it is that this is, these are the states, okay? So, um, this complaint here I made yesterday. Um, when there's some, some response, the, the the admin can say, okay, I will provide some information as soon as I, I can. Some informations have like, uh, I, I cho can choose for the, the state here, but I move to moving. There are some complaints that have like a deadline to be to be legally responded. Responded, okay. Um, the state is have changed here. Now. Um, what what I did for the the to contribute to this, I went to the the, the just a minute. Moment. I I have we at the ombudsman office we we needed to do something like um, uh, regular reports for the citizens. So 
to do this report, uh, I tried to extract some data from the, the ombudsman office system. And there was already a JSON API. So here in the browser, uh, JSON API. I am. Uh, I was not like like working with Plon and developing Plon add-ons, so I didn't knew the best practice to use. So I, I just followed the, this this sample code here that exports uh, that gives an and view, Grok view for um, JSON data. So anyone that needs to get the data of the complaints and do something with the data, like uh, analysis or something, and they can use this Grok view here. And then I look at it and I, I thought, wow, what about some ready counted or aggregated information. Then I did this. Um, like claims by date. So I just counted like for a period or a month or a date, how many complaints were about that date. So I create some some of these, I have uh, I remember uh, auxiliary memory here. It's a JDIT notepad. So there are that kind of URL here. So we can see like in a CCV or JSON uh, data structure, the kinds uh, accepted or moving or rejected and the, the counting, okay? Using this data, I was able to integrate with DataViz uh, graphics. So we have some reports. This, there are some that are out of the box. So this one I created are complaints by type. Okay, just inside Plone, we have this uh, complaints by type graphic. Um, with this, we can like embed in other sites or we can export to PNG or export to SVG. Also, we can get the HTML a report of this data, and we can like have JSON, um, XML, XML with schema, and like is a bit JSON that's possible to read for humans. Okay, and I will create another one here, just as an example. Uh, let me just well well. The claim, it's a dexterity type, so we can add some behaviors to them. And I want to categorize the, the, the complaints. So I can say like, oh, this is about uh, il public illumination, or it's about the public healthcare system, or so I can categorize in, the way I want. 
And I will do create a report here. Data viz visualization. This report uh, here I, I can put like a static file or I can give you an URL. So I, I will give the, the URL for categorization. And that's it. Save it. Okay, after the we save it, we can configure the the graph, how we use it. We edit it. Now uh, here, it edit visualizations. That's it. So it loads the data table from the URL. Then we can enable charts. Um, so when we add the uh, a new visualization. We can choose the kind of uh, or graphic we want. Loading charts. Oh, it's happening again. Live demo is failing. Okay, there's something wrong here. So I will show you a red one, just to not lose too much time. What I, w I intended to do, it's like something like this. Okay, let's edit visualization. So here we can uh, choose the kind of graphic we, we want, we need. So instead of um, uh, pizza chart, we can choose bars, horizontal, vertical, line charts, okay. And save it, and now it's done. Change to save it, so let's view it. And that's it. So uh, this gave some information for the population and uh, give some open data to those for those who want to to use it in other systems or integrate elsewhere embed elsewhere and the population can follow the where the money is being spent and or in this case where uh, what are the, the most problems that People are complaining, or which category, which tag, or which category of problems that is happening on the city. Okay, so this is it. This is mostly uh, a, a bunch of products, add-ons from Plone that I had the opportunity to to use and contribute a little to to do this.
So now I'm, oops, where are the other, well, uh, I copied something wrong. Uh, so the future of this, what's the future? I don't know, uh, but what I want to see or would like to see it uh, being supported by Plan 5 and Python 3. Uh, internationalization for to using other countries or other places. And integration, like we have a lot of uh, other products there, like we use Django and we have some systems that were written in Java, Java. And maybe we have also some proprietary systems that was were bought, so we want to integrate everything in, in with the Plone site inside the portal. So I intend to to try to do something in this this direction. And if you have an idea or any suggestion, we I like to hear you. Okay. Um, those are my contacts. So. Uh, Everywhere it's Ramiro Luz, GitHub, Twitter, elsewhere, and my email Ramiro Luz at gmail.com. And now I'm talking about the people that bring me here. So the first one is Dornel Stremea. I don't know if everybody knew or everybody that's in this room knew Dornelis. Uh, he supported me to organized the Python Brazil 6, and was his last Python Brazil conference. Also, uh, this, there are a lot of people that worked on Portal Modelo. Uh, one of them is Jean, Jean Ferri. He's also passed away. It's a, a very good friend of mine. And now she's, his wife, um, Rafaela, is working with Portal Modelo now. So he, her work brought me here. And Hector Velarde also helped to, to create Portal Modelo and work it with Erico. So Erico, thank you. Uh, he helped me be here also. And there is Alex, a friend of Erico from the, the childhood, and is living in Tokyo. And we went out to, to have some coffee together. It's a very good guy. I like it. Thing, thank you. Um, as I said, I was not working with Plone uh, full time and not developing, and sometimes I just appear in the IRC or the, the Gitter, and Tim was there. Always, he's the first guy to answer. Everybody, not just me, everybody. So, thank you. Uh, Manabu, uh, he, he did what I had to, to do this time travel around the world to go to Brazil, and we met there. And I think two months ago, he invited me to come here. I was not planning to come. I was not, not even thinking about PlanConf, and he sent me a personal message asking me to come, so thank you, Manabu. And Tanya is a... Uh, it, it was one of the organizers of the Plan Conf in Brazil, along with Rafaela. So thank you, Tana, if you're, when you see this video. And that's it. Thank you. Arigato das Hamas. So I think we have 10 minutes or less for questions. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I will give you a microphone to the recording. Okay. So, what are the add-ons you are using uh, on this? Uh, uh, it's a portal modelo ombudsman office. Let me see if you have a tab here with the. Oh, here's the interlaced portal modelo. But. It's made for the Portal model. I don't know if it will work with uh, anything else. This is the add-on, the last Portal model. And the other one is data visualization, EEA Davis. And that's it. There's two add-ons. I use it to. Thank you. Any more questions? I didn't cry in front of you. I'm crying inside me. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Latin America conference 2018. So I have t-shirts here. Uh, I think that maybe we can have one of one for each other. So we can just choose your size here. And there are some stickers also. Okay? Just came here and grab your t-shirt. <laughs>